President Trump is known for taking his grievances to Twitter and this weekend was no different. On Sunday, he was so fired up about the late-night sketch comedy series Saturday Night Live, he even posted about the possibility of a federal regulation of the wildly popular show. It's truly incredible that shows like Saturday Night Live, not funny slash no talent, can spend all of their time knocking the same person, me, over and over, without so much of a mention of the other side. Like an advertisement without consequences. Same with late night Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, March 17, 2019. Should Federal Election Commission and or FCC look into this? There must be collusion with the Democrats and, of course, Russia. Such one-sided media coverage, most of it fake news. Hard to believe I won and am winning. Approval rating 52%, 93% with Republicans. Sorry. Hashtag MAGA, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, March 17, 2019. SNL's political sketches have been some of its most popular skits through the years, and the Trump presidency has certainly lent itself nicely to SNL's brand of humor. This weekend was a rerun of a previously aired skit featuring Alec Baldwin as Trump and imagining what life would be like if he had never been elected president. Trump whined that SNL and other late-night shows, likely referring to The Daily Show, The Colbert Report, and others that use Trump's own actions and words as hilarious material, can spend all of their time knocking the same person, me, over and over, without so much of a mention of the other side. Like an advertisement without consequences. In a giant stretch. Trump also suggested that the FCC should look into the matter because it must be collusion with the Democrats and, of course, Russia. When SNL originally aired the sketch back in December, it triggered President Trump then, as well. Trump went straight to Twitter then, too, and called SNL a democratic spin machine that needed to be tested in court. A real scandal is the one-sided coverage, hour by hour, of networks like NBC and Democrat spin machines like Saturday Night Live. It is all nothing less than unfair news coverage and Dem commercials. Should be tested in courts, can't be legal? Only defame and belittle. Collusion? The sketch causing this Trump meltdown uses the movie It's a Wonderful Life as a template for the parody, starring Alec Baldwin as Trump and Matt Damon as Supreme Court appointee Brett Kavanaugh. The episode aired several months after Kavanaugh's wild ride to the bench through controversial testimonies and hearings, which eventually led to his confirmation. In the skit, Baldwin's Trump asks Damon's Kavanaugh if he ever made it to the Supreme Court to which Damon replies. Me on the Supreme Court? With my temperament? Are you insane? Nah, nah. They went with that nerd, Merrick Garland. But on the plus side, when I tell people I like beer, they find it charming and not like I'm threatening violence. <laughs>